Hey, I'm Pete Mitchell, and this is my vlog. I attended the new student dialogue on internationality, which focused on stereotypes that are associated with uh, different people around the world. We looked at differences in culture, appearance, and even how different they spoke. My new student dialogue group broke up into randomly, randomly broke up into smaller groups, presenting, representing each continent with the exception of Antarctica, with the purpose to come up with stereotypes associated with each area of the world. Uh, starting with North America, we stereotyped them us being rich, and enjoying sports, and being obnoxious. Asians are stereotyped with being bad drivers and being really good at math and sciences, which may be true for some, but not all of them. Australia was difficult to come up with, but we listed them as surfers and also using the word mate in like every sentence. Africans have been stereotyped as being extremely skinny and looking very similar to each other, all looking the same. Europeans are seen as heavy drinkers and them being all Catholic, I guess. Um, and lastly, South Americans are associated with the drug cartel and playing soccer and being good at soccer. While all these stereotypes are stereotypes for a reason, uh, the, the majority of them aren't true for all of them, and many of them just represent a small few, which is important to keep in mind when dealing with this issue. I do believe my group uh, achieved true dialogue. Uh, no one in the group seemed to have any prejudice towards any other kind of people, which was very good. And we all kept an open mind while we dialogued. <coughs> <clears throat> Naturally, there are people who actively voice their opinions and thoughts more often and more comfortably than others. So they tended to lead the dialogue more as I spoke more often and contributed more while there were some like myself who are reserved voices and we listened more and contributed what we could and how we pleased. I think the new student dialogue is a component of Library 100 because the university wants us to wants us new students to interact with each other by getting to know each other um, and talking over a social issue that I'm sure we have all experienced at one point of an, at one point or another in our lives, and also to remind us students to keep an open mind when we deal with situations like this in the future. Uh, it is also important for us to understand that we're all different, coming in many different shapes and sizes, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with being different. And in fact, you should embrace it. I think there is probably a better way to accomplish uh, the new student dialogue, or like a different way to accomplish what the creators in the new student dialogue wanted to accomplish. I uh, don't really have any suggestions, but yeah. Um, the vlog, this vlog, and the new student dialogue just seem like more of a hassle than an opportunity to learn. It might be the fact that more emphasis was placed on completing it and just getting it done and over with by the deadline rather than um, emphasis on like a chance to learn and broaden our understandings as new students. Overall I think my experience in it was good. I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't as bad as I thought and the two hours went by a lot quicker than I would have thought even as early in the morning as it was. Um, if there are new student dial dialogues like this in the future, not necessarily like restricted to new students, I would think about attending if it's an optional kind of thing. But this, the mandatory kind of part of it is what kind of keeps me back and not like want to go to it. Um, now, I might have 
preferred to write a paper as opposed to making this video. It would have been easier for me, I feel like, because I'm a reserved voice. But that's it. Goodbye.